What we found is uh, should not be surprising to those who live here in the in the New Orleans metropolitan area. The reality is that rising sea levels are continuing to threaten areas that, uh, where people live outside the levee system. And uh, Jean Lafitte is a perfect example of that. It's an area that has been struggling to try to get some sort of hurricane protection for many years. And unfortunately, um, the state has determined that uh, the number of people who live there and the, the amount of investment there does not meet the cost of a hundred year levy, the, the equivalent of what New Orleans gets, uh, which would cost you know more than a billion dollars to do. And it's going to have to decide over the next 10 to 20 to 50 years whether or not people want to elevate their homes and businesses in that area or live with the continuing threat of being flooded every couple of years or I uh, have to move out and figure out what to do. The second piece that, that we did actually dealt with that whole question of uh, sort of resetting the table. Okay, so now we have the best levee system that's been built in the United States ever, but it's built to a standard that is not adequate for a major metropolitan area, and people have known that since, since its construction was underway, that it was uh, too small. So what's going to happen is that the state is going to have to figure out a way of dealing with that risk. It had originally planned on doing that by elevating that whole, the, the whole brand new levee system by about three feet over the next 50 years. Even that would only keep it at the 100 year uh, protection level and that's still not enough for this area so the the reality is though that New Orleans is better situated than a number of people. New Orleans was originally located uh, here in the French Quarter by Bienville and Diverville 300 years ago. Why? Well it was the closest place to the mouth of the Mississippi River that was defensible. At that time it was defensible against the English because they were French and so they were concerned about it. Today, uh, it's still in that same sort of a situation. It's the closest place to the mouth of the Mississippi River that is defensible against storm surge. Uh, so we have opportunities to do that with coastal restoration projects, figuring out ways of building levees or blocking water from coming in or holding that water in places throughout the area to reduce the risk to the community.